Hey guys, and uh, welcome to another DVD update. It's a small one this time, um, especially compared to my last one, but just uh, two films, two TV box sets. What are you going to do? I think I'm going to stick to the, the camera, this kind of way of doing it, and just find it easier. Okay, um, so yeah, we'll start with the films. Uh, first up is actually one I've, I've never seen, which is um, uh, Doctor Strangelove. Or how I learned to stop worrying. Uh, how I learned to stop worrying and love the bomb. I've never seen this, but it's supposed to be really good. Um, I really know nothing about it, to be honest. Apart from it's wait, let me. It's black and white. It's a comedy, and it's directed by Stanley Kubrick. Um, I suppose I could read the back. Let's try that one out. Uh, well, that's quite a lot of. Stanley Kubrick's classic black comedy about... Yeah, I can't be bothered to read that, to be honest. Too lazy. Special features. Let's see. They include, um... Inside the Making of Strange Love. The Art of Stanley Kubrick. Interview with Peter Sellers and George C. Scott. Uh, theatrical trailer. Press kit. Whatever that means. And, uh... Filmographies. Let's take a look at the disc. Um, yeah, pretty crap. One of those, you know... Hey look, there's me. Hi me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, you know, just bland writing. It's red, though. So, yeah. That's, uh, Doctor Strangelove. The thoughts? Good? Not good? Does it live up to the reputation? Um, apparently it's a collector's edition. Uh, you know, it's, it's not really, is it, to be honest? Yes, yeah, so that's Doctor Strange Love. Um, I'll be watching that soon. Should be good. Then the other film I got was uh, Stardust, which I absolutely love this film. I saw this in the cinema last year. Um, geez, it must be nearly a year ago now, I guess, back in October. Um, it's very good. It stars the lovely Claire Danes, of course, and some other people. Uh, you know, Robert De Niro, Michelle Pfeiffer, Bird who was in um, Layer Cake. Bird. How English I am. Anyways, yeah, it's about that guy, you know, he goes to retrieve the star for his one true love. The star is actually Claire Danes, and they go on a big adventure, and he gets involved, and so is he, and she's a witch. And, you know, just read it on IMDb if you really care that much. Um, this is a, yeah, I really love this film. It's um, it's just such a fun kind of adventurous, you know, you know, not not to you don't have to really think about it. Um, it's kind of yeah, it's just I think Robert De Niro really sort of uh, steals the show with this one, doesn't he? You just especially when you find out when he's actually like gay or whatever it is, you know, when he's not a hard ass pirate. I uh, <laughs> I love that he just he just steals everything, doesn't he? And that the end sequence where they're those two become king and queen, and um, he just kind of winks at her, you know, boyfriend Humphrey. <laughs> I love that. And I've just totally spoiled it for you if you haven't seen the film, so apologies for that. Um, I won't throw up anything up at the beginning because I can't be bothered to edit any of this. Special features just include, you can't see that, but it says commentary. Which, you know, if you're going to include any special feature, it might as well be a commentary because it isn't the best, in my opinion. Disc, um, again, really um, bland. But the thing about this one is, it's one of those bland ones where they put effort into it. It's not like the Strange Love one. It's actually there's you know there's a cover and on the disc or whatever you want to call it. But it's just you know if you're gonna put effort into it, make it good. Oh, yeah, there's a disc. Um, I, I highly recommend this film, especially if you like fantasy type stuff. It's very good. Um, although if you haven't seen it, of course, like I said, I spoiled it for you. So sorry about that. <laughs> um, yeah, that's Stardust. Very good. Um, alright. And then the TV box that I got, uh, well, the first one, was um HBO show. And I think, yeah, it was a wet movie. Who's a fan of this one, which is um Entourage, Season 3, Part 1. I was kind of following the show on TV. I mean, I was. 
but then I lost track of it during when I was showing this this first half of season three. So I figured, you know, all right, I'll just you know catch up on DVD. And that was a year ago, and now they're on season five, and I've only just started catching up. Um, and there's only like three episodes on this set that I hadn't seen. But anyways, um, this show is about Vince, who's like a movie star, him, um, and his friends, those two guys, and his agent, Ari, who, again, just steals the show every time. As he, it's kind of his rise to fame, I suppose. Um, it's 12 episodes. Special features include three commentaries and a Vegas Baby Vegas feature. You know, that's about if um, you've watched it. Um, it's kind of funny because here they always have to say with guest appearances from because because it's about a movie star um, and it actually has like actors playing themselves. So like he's in a movie. Well, he's in Aquaman, um, the movie in um, in the show. And James Cameron is supposed to have directed it, and he makes a cameo in a couple episodes. And then, but in this season, what we have, yeah, it says James Cameron, Seth Green, Paul Haggis, Bruno Calvi, Martin Landau, Penny Marshall, Mercedes Ruel, and James Woods. Um, yeah, it's a really entertaining show. Just, I, I think it's better when you watch it on DVD because it's just. I don't know, it's, uh, I can just get into it a lot more. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I can get into it a lot more that way. Um, let's take a look at the discs. Okay, oh, I'll just look at There we go. Discs. There's disc 1, episodes 1 to 4, disc 2, episodes 5 to 8, and disc 3. Um, episodes 9 to 12. It's got this, is it this little thing in here? Episode list. Not much to say on that. Anyways, yeah, so that's Entourage. Cool show. Check it out if you haven't seen it. And then, last but certainly, certainly not least, there's another, there's a show which I bought some of in America, and that's Oz, the third season. Um, another HBO show. So this is just really, really good. I love this show. I'm currently a couple episodes into it, about three, I think. And it's just, it's still as good as ever. Um, it's, you know, just follows the inside the prison, all the goings on in the prison. The, um, I think it's, what is it, Os Oswald Maximum Security Penitentiary or something? Um, specifically the Emerald City, uh, like, a section or whatever I can't remember what but anyway yeah it's really good of course this is the region 2 one with the crappier packaging and no special features to speak of um, uh, let's take a look at the um, discs yeah see the packaging just not as good is it uh, so do we have this uh, leaf that episode list and there's disc one. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of uh, kind of people on it who went on to be in other popular shows like J.K. Simmons, who's obviously was in Spider-Man. Now he's in the Closer. As the guy who went to play in um, uh, Bodie, I think it is in The Wire, and also the guy who went to play Carver in The Wire. And then. And it also has a bunch of other people, and I'm really running out of time. Disc 2 is currently in my player. Oh yeah, of course it has Echo from Lost in it. Uh, no, yeah, Disc 3. Um, it's just a, it's just a top-notch show, really. It's very harsh, hardcore stuff. And there is a bit of um, male full frontal nudity, so guys getting into the show might want to be warned of that. Um, but yes, yeah, really good. Uh, and I mean, there's not really much more I can say on it. Um, yeah, that about covers it. That's my DVD update. And that actually, that, oh my god, that took me 10 minutes just to do that. Jesus Christ. Alright, well, peace.
Peace guys. Peace. See you later.